All right, what's up, my task? I'm 2488 Neo Hippies. This is Paige, and I am here with the video on the MPC Live, and that is pertaining to those audio tracks. I realized that I did a video on this exact subject six months ago, and I was under the assumption that you could only record audio in pattern chunks, which is still true, but you can record in a linear form once you do this process. Now, let's get into it. Hit the main button, and you'll see that I have recorded, what, four sequences, actually three. This is just a count in. And let's go back to menu, and let's click song. I have arranged my song here, and now, right here in the center, you got clear, you have export, and you have convert to sequence. When you click the convert to sequence button, let's, or tab, it's going to ask you where you would like this to go. In my case, I've already done it. So, I put it on 10, right? Okay. Then you hit do it. I don't have to hit do it because I've already done it. But in your case, you'll go ahead and hit do it. I'm just going to hit close. And now this information, all of this is there. When I go back to main, then I can go to my audio tracks. And then go to that sequence. And as you see right here by bars... The whole damn song is there. And from that point, I can hit monitor and record and name whatever this track is going to be named and then start working. I didn't, for the life of me six months ago, look at that song creation area and gave it a second thought. It's like, what? It, it's sort of like the next video I'm doing where, where I'll, I'll show you another thing. But this, this instrument is so different from everything I've ever used. <laughs> and to, it pisses me off because I had an MPC 500 that I never used. I, I think I, I sampled one thing on it. And then I sold it. And I didn't know what I had in my hands plus battery power that I could take. Because I'm not taking this anywhere. I, I've been to D.C. I've been to Florida and um, New Orleans and uh, St. Louis in the last few months. And I haven't taken this with me because, I mean, you look at this, this, this will get stolen. But that 500 would have worked so well with my my setup that I take out with me because I take my microcorgs, my reface, and my um, Nova. Well, I don't take Nova anymore, but I take my little keyboards with me, and I I take those to make my music and stuff. And and it's it's it pisses me off that I sold that 500 because it functions the same way. And the other thing is my MPC Essentials functions the same way. And I'm so pissed at myself that I didn't notice that. But anyway. Alright. So for those of whom are like me and had this issue. I want to go back over it again so that you will know what to do. Alright. So we are going to go back to menu. Right. Then we're going to click main. And I hope you guys are using these buttons here instead of, you know, using the tabs up there. And then we're going to hit menu again. Go to song. You create your song. I will show you how to do that also on a video. Once you sequence your whole song out, then you go to convert sequence you whatever sequence you want to put it on 
In my case, I did 10. And then you hit do it. Once you hit do it, you close, go back to main, find the sequence that you put the information on, then go to audio, set it up, hit monitor, hit the record button, test your recording, and you're off to the races. It's really simple and you have eight audio tracks to do this on. This machine is amazing. Not only do you have the opportunity to to take and record in pattern chunks, but you can also record in a linear form if you just want to play everything out live. I love this thing. Not as much as I love my task camp, but I am coming to love this because I can create my drums and then I can start working here. So you guys have a good one and I will see you on the next video. Bye.